This time of year is a time of reflection, thankfulness, and showing gratitude. I was recently reminded of this during a couple of happenstance conversations with educators from bricks and mortar schools. Each recounted challenges they face in their jobs, mostly surrounding managing behaviors while ensuring a safe, learning-centered environment. I was suddenly transported back in time to some of my own experiences as a teacher and an administrator in bricks and mortar schools. While virtual education also has its challenges, managing student behavior certainly looks different. What a gift to not feel that a large portion of instructional time is used managing behaviors, but rather for teaching. It is certainly something to be grateful for in our learning environment. Today, we are going to look at ways to manage behavior that are backed by research. According to John Hattie's research, classroom management has an effect size of 0.52 or more than a year's impact for a year's worth of instruction. In his book, co-authored with Klaus Sear, 10 Mind Frames for Visible Learning, he notes that there are four ways to manage classroom behavior effectively. First is focus and presence. Remain focused on the lesson and overlook inconsequential behaviors, disturbances, or provide other cues to address behavior while carrying on with the lesson. Second is smoothness and pace. Keep up the lesson pace to prevent idle time that allows for potential behavioral disruptions. Third is group focus. Try to communicate with learners as a whole when possible, rather than taking instructional time to address a few students individually. Fourth is avoidance of tedium. Keep students engaged in their learning, not too hard and not too boring. Include opportunities for students to experience success. Take a few minutes to reflect on some of your previous experiences teaching in other learning environments. I hope that you have favorable experiences at our school regarding managing student behavior during instructional time and may too feel a sense of gratitude. And if and when a situation arises that requires your expertise for classroom management, I hope these four tips come in handy. Have a great week. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down a road and back again. Your heart is true, you're a pal and a confidant I'm not ashamed to say I hope it always will stay this way My hat is off